Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade Windows anytime. So let's go ahead and get started. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade Windows anytime without having to wipe out your hard drive. Even though this video might be out already on YouTube, but I'm sharing my own experience and it actually works. So anyways, I was, uh, I had Windows 7 Basic, which is, it doesn't bring anything, it doesn't bring your themes, your, or, or screensavers. Uh, guys, I don't know if you looked this up, but... Windows 7 actually has screensavers. Not much, but it has a few. Anyways, uh, so I went ahead and searched and I got, I upgraded to Windows 7 Ultimate. And uh, I'm going to show you now the steps on how to do it. But again, you got to purchase a key to which operating system you want to upgrade. So you want to, might want to click on start. And in this box, you might want to type Windows Upgrade Anytime. Mind you, if you're upgrading from Home Premium or Home Basic, you want to get Ultimate. Why Ultimate? Even though if it's Ultimate for businesses or, you know, other stuff without being used for gaming. It's a whole lot better, it freezes less, it's more stable, it has more security um, features too. And um, that's why I chose Ultimate. Um, I had a way bad experience with Vista. I mean, it, it's not bad, but Vista doesn't get half of your hard drives or, or softwares on there. So... With 7, it, it actually does. They say if you want to install your printer, it picks it up like, you know, in a second or two. Depending on how fast your computer is. And how fast it processes. So, um, let me go ahead and also show you guys how to get the uh, screen savers. You go out here in control panel. And you click appearances. It gives you three options, but you're going to click the top one. And then once you get here, you click on change screensavers and this actually is going to pop out you know I thought somebody told me Windows 7 had no, no screensavers but it actually does so what you're going to do is you're going to come here where it says none and it's going to give you a few screensavers it's not that much um like this one for example it's a whole bunch of bubbles just going around you know it doesn't have much but also, you have on your themes, you can click on next on the desktop background, and it's like a screen save. Also, I'm going to give you a little short review on what I think about Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, it's sort of like Vista, but what Microsoft did actually, and I find this better, is they improved it a whole lot better in, in the sense of being more organized and more dependable. Now... The toolbar, or I should say, I heard somebody call it the smart bar. Um, it's more organized than the Windows uh, Vista. It don't matter what version of Windows Vista you get, basic, starter, home premium, or ultimate, their taskbar is not going to be as much as, you know, better organized than as this one. So... Let me show you what I'm trying to say. Um, let's say you have a few programs open and you want to be a little more organized. Boom. You, it brings you right down there to the bottom. So that's what I like about it too. And uh, Microsoft would have done a little better with the boot screen. Although, you know, going from Vista's boot screen, it's a whole lot better. You got the whole little circles going and then it comes to a, a Windows logo. I actually find that very... Um, entertaining anyways uh during the process of the booting um what else can i tell you about windows 7 pretty much uh everything has been uh 
okay so far the only thing is that i haven't been able to install my burning software because it's not compatible with windows 7. um I'm trying to go ahead and find one that I could use with Windows 7. But other than that, uh, that's it, guys. And uh, do as the best you always do. Subscribe and comment on the videos. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Take care.